Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Legends of Breath of the Wild. Last time, we got some really good, um, guardian weapons from a shrine way up north. So, now that we've done all that, I think I'm ready to start heading over in this direction, so... Now, is kind of a, 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 a choice point. So, if you're not feeling very skilled or prepared, I would recommend going to over here first for your next Divine Beast. But if you're feeling a little bit more confident, I would recommend going this direction. So, I'm feeling confident. And let's follow the road a little bit. But the, the what's it called that we need, is way above us. There's some platforms we can see along here. But I'm not sure how to get up there without just climbing. It might just be that we're supposed to climb up. And we've definitely got enough stamina to get up there, I think. Even just without the platforms, we could probably get to the tower with just like this. So let's have a go at getting up there and see what we can do next. I could just follow the road, but the tower is kind of a bit out of the way. So... Let's just do this. It'd also be nice to get some more climbing gear. I don't know where you get the climbing gear. It's been too long since I first played this game. Since I've only beaten this game once, and not even at 100%. I have seen most of it, but not all of it. Sorry, let's see. Let's see. Is that a sh rush room? It might be a rush room. But I might just leave that, possibly. It's a good thing I didn't jump as I was climbing up this, because I I was thinking about it, but I thought I'd probably run out of stamina if I did. Now, can I stand on this without falling off and recover some stamina? Oh my goodness. How? Well, if I can be very, very careful. Let's walk across here. And now we can basically just travel along here, although it looks like there's a Korok down there. Oh, that we need to get the the block from up here anyway. So, that works. Let's grab that. And try to figure out where it needs to go. Down below. If the camera was better, that would make it a little bit easier. Oh my goodness, this camera angle is not great for this. I think I'm going to have to put it down. And then go have a look at it. Well, we can see where it's missing. And I was slightly off just by accident. So there we go. Would have been nice if that just happened by itself. Because now I need to climb back up onto the, the board, board boardwalk thing. I can probably do that though. Oh my goodness. So yeah, let's follow this along and see where it takes us. It should take us up a fair bit, hopefully, so we can get closer to the tower. Now, I might want to walk through this path the way without the tower at some point just to get Koroks, but, I've, but for now, this is what I'd probably recommend, other than just climbing straight up, taking gaps wherever you can. Okay, this is the wrong side of the ladder? Yes. It's very specific about that. Come on. It's more rush room. There's so much rush room that's just tempting me to go get it. But it's not in a great place to actually get it. So. This is... I don't think I've actually gone up... Oh my goodness, I'm on the wrong side again. Because you need to be on the side with the thing on the ground. You know. That's, that's what I'm using as an indicator. But anyway. I'm sorry, sir. But, uh... You have overstayed your welcome. That didn't work the way I would hope. But that's fine because I've got strong weapons. I should probably switch out for weak weapons so I don't waste them. You know? Oh, he hit the ground. Cool. Okay. We're a lot higher up now. Is that a Korok down there? No, that's the Korok I've already done. Cool. Now, I will have to warn you. There are a few Guardian Stalkers in high places around here sometimes. 
So that could be a bit of a problem. There's also this random whiz robe over there. Which I might just ignore and go up there. If I can. Keep going over that way. Since I need to actually get a little bit further up to actually get to the tower. We have a marker on our map to show where it is, so... That'll also help. Okay, almost there. Just need to not fall down, and I need to actually land onto this stick here. So I can recover my stamina. Now, turn around and walk very slowly across. Ooh, that nearly ended badly. Now let's keep following this path. This is probably around where they dug out some of the- one of the Divine Beasts. I don't know why they got out all the Divine Beasts, but this is probably one of the places. Hang on. Is this a... There's no way. Is this actually... It's a Korok! Oh my goodness! It's just a random rock on the... 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 The path. The... 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 the, the okay, then. Okay. Let me get rid of that. And I think I'm gonna have to go across here a little bit. Because of a landslide or something. Grab that. And let's go up a little bit more. Looks like we're actually fairly close to the top now. I think. There's the tower. So we must be fairly close. If you follow the... Um, the, the boardwalk stuff a little bit more, you might find... Where you're supposed to go. Wow, this area is very bright. The colour scheme is bright. And there's also some more boardwalk over there to help get up, so I might use that. But it looks like it's a straight shot up to the tower now. Which is fairly good. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna leave the, um... Leave the boardwalk and just go straight up. I was gonna use it as a little platform for stamina recovery, but I think it's gonna be fine like this. Since we're close enough anyway. How high is this going? There's also some monsters around here, so I'm gonna have to be careful. Just keep going up. Oh, there's the tower. Still fairly high up, though. Things look a lot closer when climbing, but they also kind of further away. I don't know. I think I can run up with this a little bit for some stamina recovery. Yep. Very nice. Okay. We've made it. But as you can see, the tower's in the middle of a bog again. I believe there are some boxes and boulders that you can use. Looks like it's just the boxes over there that are metallic to help you get across, but I think since we can just use Crayonis anyway, might as well do that. Although I think, just as an example, I'm going to pull out one of these boxes if I can. And put that there. Okay, that does go all the way down, so you do have to stack boxes. They don't just float on the surface, unfortunately. That would be good if they did, though. Float on the surface. Oh, come on. Just gonna me... I'm gonna... Hang on. What happens if I do this? Okay, that just breaks. Okay, cool. That makes sense. But, yeah, I'd, I'd still definitely recommend just using... Oh, what did I do? Whatever I did, it worked. I think you're supposed to 
knocked the over with a box. Oh, it's slightly at an angle, that's okay. But the Cronus worked as well. So, Cronus is just the way to go. The platforms on the sides of the tower only start at a certain point, so... We needed that extra pillar to help us up. And oh my goodness, we are very high up. And there's that area over there that goes even higher. Oh my gosh. One of the highest points in the game right here. Which also gives us a good view of the next area in front of us. It's a large portion of the map that we haven't been able to see because of all the mountains around it. So, let's activate this tower. Please. Thank you. Okay, I just want to point out that the Great Plateau is down there. Very low compared to where we are now. There's still stuff higher than this. But yeah, we can see a large area in front of us. We can also see that over there. Another Divine Beast. But anyway, I think... Now that we've done all that, I want to go down here. This is where the path would actually lead you if you weren't going straight up to the tower, but I don't know why you wouldn't go straight up for the tower. Poss there's possibly another way down here that helps you get up as well, which could be why or how you're supposed to do it. Looks like there's a path along here that goes under that rock and then across here and all that. But this is how I've always done this, is just go straight up. It's... but everything... this this area looks cool. How it looks like dug out and all that. Probably was actually. This might be actually where a Divine Beast was. That'd be interesting, but I don't actually know. So I can neither confirm or deny if it is. But anyway, let's go grab this shrine over here. And there's also a stable right down there. So let's activate this and have a look. Power of electricity. This is a bit of a different kind of puzzle. But it's also one of the most broken shrines in the game. And I think I'm going to show you why. So, let's get out our Magnesis, and then go on the other side of this door, where we can still access the orb. When we take it off, it closes the door, but if we do this correctly, we can pull the orb over the wall, bring it back down to us, which actually skips a step in the shrine, so we're supposed to get another orb. I'm just going to leave that there so I can actually do it correctly. So as you can see, we're meant to put it there. We're actually meant to get the one that's over here. So let's go get that. I wish I had regular arrows right now. Ow. Just gonna get rid of you since you're not very strong. In fact, I think this weapon is actually perfect for taking you down in one hit. But if you don't didn't want to do that, you could just do what I just did with the other orb. Which is strange. But as you can imagine, this means we can take a few orbs to the next room as well. Once we've done this. Let's do that. Actually, I think we can take all of the orbs, all three of the orbs here with us, so. This is a very broken shrine if you know what you're doing. A small key.
Also, you have to try to kind of jump over those gaps to make sure you get across. So, let's open this. And then break all reality with three orbs. Because this door stays open because it was a locked door, not a... Not activated by a switch or anything. Ow. You're a little bit stronger than the other one that we saw before. But not by much. So, let's just take this with us. It's easier to move them with Magnesis, I think, so I'm gonna do that. But as you can see over here, we have some clever water electricity puzzles where we need to connect up the electricity to other orbs using the water current to kind of keep things going. Or if we put that back, we can just grab our orb from the first room and just drop that in there. Also, touching the electricity when it's against an object like the blocks will actually hurt you, so don't do that. So this is a very, very broken shrine since I could have solved it in... In fact, I did solve it with the first room's orb. Now, so there's another sh chest in here somewhere. So I might want to make sure I grab that. Which I think is what happens when I go back into the previous room. And it's up there. Okay, cool. Easy. Which you can also use the chest as an in-between thing for the last room puzzle. Gerudo Scimitar. This common sword is often carried by Gerudo women for self-defense. Its short curved blade is easily recognized. Inventory is full. Well then, let's just get rid of this. Which I, I wonder if weapons also count as, as metal can spread electricity. Maybe. But yeah, this puzzle is solved in many ways, basically. Since that chest also moves it along. Also, just as a quick side note, these gears here can be frozen to lock the door. Which is kind of pointless, but it's an interesting feature. I believe they actually stop if you don't have electricity going to them. But kind of pointless anyway. Oh, hello, guardian thing. Yeah, that's a that's the path that you're supposed to take to the shrine. No, the tower. I don't know there was a path, but anyway. That's okay. First time for everything. Let's grab some of this rush room. And we're about to find out why I've been going crazy about this rush room. How much do we have? 31. We're about a third of the way there. Oh, there's more. Cool. Good. Hang on. I'm going to spend a minute getting all this. If you've seen the game before, you can you probably knew this was what I was doing. Oh, please don't fall down. Thank you. It's good that they put Rush Room basically everywhere. As long as you're looking for it. Okay, just a little bit further up. Just a little bit further. I feel like I'm going to run out of stamina. This is fine. It's not that far down. Just jump, grab it, thank you. Slide down and I'm fine, cool. Good to know that none of this actually matters. And apparently I can pull up my glider just for a little bit when I have no... When I have no uh, stamina left. Not enough. Buddy. Got any rushrooms? What's the matter? See, I... I'm tired. Tired of going normal speed, I mean. I just tried Rush Rooms when I was five years old. First tried. And come to think of it, I ate them every day since without fail. Back in the day, I'd win every race I ran, thanks to those things. Cut to 55 years later, now I can barely drag these bones off the ground without those Rush Rooms. But no matter how many times I eat to fortify myself, I'm just too old to get off get up the cliffs to pick rushrooms where they grow. Ah. 
That's why I'm letting all able-bodied uh, sorts know that I'm in the market for them. I'll give a diamond for 55 rush rooms. That's worth the effort, right? If you want to do business, just come talk to me. I'm always here. Thought it was a hundred, but all right. That's fine. We've got another meal here that we can take a screenshot of. And it might be worth buying some more arrows since I keep running out. Wow, you have a rugged rhino beetle in your inventory. Beetle just loves rugged rhino beetles. Can I take it off your hands? I'll give you something in return. How about... How does tough elixir sound? I'm kind of alright. Sorry, but no. I can sell it to you if you want. Oh, and here I thought I knew what kind of person you were. No, it's fine. Beetle just isn't a very good judge of character, apparently. Wow. Absolutely roasted on Link. I'm gonna probably sell you some stuff so I can actually do things. I don't think I need a rugged rhino beetle. If I can figure out where that is. Maybe. It should be here, right? There. Okay. It's worth... Okay, so I sh if I traded, I'd probably be able to sell his thing back to him. Which would be funny. But I'm gonna sell some of this amber. Because I don't think I need it. For now. I could be very wrong, and I'm gonna be very upset later, but... It's not gonna be too hard to get it back if I need it. What have you got? I need some arrows. You've got 30 arrows. No, you've got 40 arrows. Very nice. Okay. No, I didn't mean to go out of that. Please stay in the menu. Okay. Just a little bit more. So I guess we're halfway through um, the rush room quest. How many do we have? Many? We have... 34 out of 55. That's a really good scale, I guess. Cass is also here, but he doesn't have any quests for us, which is good, I guess. It looks like there's something over here, some flint, which is good. And now, I see there's a dog here, so I'm guessing that if I look around enough with my sensor out, I might be able to find the chest without paying the dog meat. Oh, there's also a weapon up here. They do like just hiding things around the place, apparently. Let me... I'm guessing I've... Yeah, I've already got a picture of that. That's that's fine. Now, let's see. There's a hammer. Sledgehammer. But where is chest? Probably somewhere a little bit more hidden than I'm realizing. And possibly up the cliff face a little bit. Maybe even further up the path. I don't know. Maybe I should just pay the dog. I can pick up this rock. Nope, that didn't have a chest under it. Can't imagine why it wouldn't. Snore. Oh, you came back! Oh, never mind. I thought the gang had come back. The gang? My friends. We were all traveling together when some monster suddenly jumped us near uh, Cocot plateau path. I took off running as fast as I could and didn't stop until I got here. But when I turned around to check on my friends, they were nowhere to be found. Why didn't you do that earlier? You don't think the monsters could have... No, everyone's totally safe. They have to be. They'll be here any second. Hey, if you happen to run into any of my friends on the road, please let them know. Uh, Ses Sesame is waiting for them here. The names are Olif, uh, Flaxul, Canolo, and Palme. Okay, missing in action. And I think I'm going to have a look at giving this dog some meat. I think it takes three meat to actually get him to find the thing for you, so. And hopefully he's not going to just show me something I've already found on my own. Oh, he's playing... He's playing... Oh, my goodness. Cass is playing along with the music here, and it sounds like... He's playing the Pona song. That's really cool. Just as a little 
secret thing is playing a pony song along to the music here, because the pony's a horse and this is the, the it's a really cool. Oh. Really? Really? Did I, did I just not find that before and it just, was it there the whole time and I just didn't notice or did it only appear when, I don't know. I could just be really bad at this. Ice arrow time 10, that was not really worth it, I don't think. Although, I guess the exchange rate is alright. From meat to arrows. Maybe? I could be wrong. Anyway, now that that's done, let's go cook some stuff because we're going into a desert. If you didn't know already. So, let's get some... something ready so we can keep cool during the heat of the desert. Just do some of that. A chili elixir. The sun icon shows that it's heat resistant. So there we go. Let's go this way. We're actually going to find it's a bit interesting in the desert trying to keep uh, the temperature safe for us. But anyway, here's a Gerudo for us to say hello to. How do you um, ring such strength, such endurance out of uh, that <laughs> runty body? Very few have ever seen the Leviathan bones, but keep an eye out in the desert and you might just get lucky. Okay, thanks for the advice I suppose. There's a shrine over there. It's a good thing that this is the direction we're going. Gerudo Desert Gateway. So, in the middle of the desert, there's a little path that you can follow on the map. And if you're not following the path exactly, you'll get off of it. And you'll find yourself going a little bit slower. So if you want to go faster, you want to stay on this path here. Which is a bit hard to see what's the path and what's not. That's okay. Also, there's a shrine there. And it's very good to mark it over here because I believe if you get closer, it's harder to get to. It'll make sense when we go over there. At night, during the, in the desert, if you are not careful, you'll notice that it gets cold. So you actually need to put on um, cold resistance to get through. But anyway, let's keep going. Getting close to a little midpoint over here, I suppose. And now, let's have a look at what's here. So we've had a look at Divine Beast, uh, what's it called? I should know this. I have them in my brain, but it's just, I don't know. Uh, I can look it up, <laughs> since we have the main quests. Varnaboris. I really should have remembered that one. That was the more obvious one. During the daytime, though, those clouds are actually brown. So that's probably a better time to look at the cutscene, but I kind of forgot about it. Anyway. Karakara Bazaar. This is Karakara Bazaar. Gerudo Town is still a fair distance southwest of here. If you're headed there, you should consider resting a bit. Though, you are a Vo. Even if you make it to town, you won't be able to get in. All the same, the Divine Beast is kicking up a storm right now. So I don't recommend going to Gerudo Town. 
Gruda Town is to the southwest and the biggest town in the area. It's famous for trade and also for staying active and uh, vibrant all night long. However, there is a law forbidding uh, Vo males from entering the city. Divine Beast? You don't know about the Divine Beast Var Naboris. Supposedly, it is a guardian deity for the Garuda people, but it suddenly started acting up a while back. There's nothing we can do to stop it, either. It's protected by a fierce sandstorm and intense lightning. Though it hasn't yet, it could easily head towards Garuda Town or the Oasis. I do keep... I do my best to keep an eye on it from here. I don't need any thanks. This is my job, after all. You know, the desert is a hot is hot during the day and cold at night. It'll take the energy out of you in no time. If you plan to head out into the desert, make sure you're prepared. Also, I think when you're on the road, it's easier to stay cool in the day, possibly. But anyway, there's also a memory here. And now that we've made it to Karakar Bazaar, I think that was its name, I could be, if I get it wrong, that'd be very sad. That is it for this episode. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.